Apparently your kid was awake and you had to, or his uh, successor was awake and he had to watch his dad get beat to death. Lovely. Oh, that wretched order of Zugzwang! Before they came along, we were just peacefully getting on with our lives. Now we have no freedom whatsoever. They don't even let us carry on worshipping the goddess. Ugh. Ugh. I reckon we need to move at least another thousand rocks before they let us rest. Oi! Stop your slack and I'll be whipping for you if you don't move the next rock a bit smartish. What's that look on your face? Slaves are supposed to have the eyes of the dead! You make me sick! Get back to work! You're making these guys run on a wheel. I'm the water girl. Can I offer you a drink, handsome? There you are. Okay, just come and find me when you get thirsty then. Come on, get moving! I'll have to smash your face with this rock if you don't get back to work! Get these bags of stones carried upstairs. The leader of the order is getting impatient for the temple to be finished. Keep working, keep working, work until you drop dead for all I care. Chip away, chip away, chip away some more. For mother's sake, yeah! It's a large wheel turning as the slaves walk. Yeah, I, I'm talking more about uh, Pancras being killed, though, than I am about uh, the orb being shattered. Uh, Wintrig, you missed a big scene indeed if you didn't watch that, but basically, uh, you're trying to save Prince Harry, and um, the lead guy threatens to kill you, and then Pancras gets beat to death. Would you like some water? You know, there are monsters around all over the place outside. At least we can feel safe here. And it's all thanks to the Great Ruler. That's Stockholm Syndrome. The leader of this place is saying stuff about saving the world. That's all well and good, but it doesn't justify destroying an ancient temple and forcing us to, to build a new one in its place. Don't disturb me, mate. I'm the only one man in this bit, so I can't afford to waste any time. This is just between you and me, but... When the temple is finished, our great ruler says he will set all of you saves flee. Naturally, there's the condition, which is that you all become followers of the Order of Zugzwang, but that's no hardship. There's no response. He doesn't seem to be in the mood to chat. This isn't good enough. We need more rocks! Keep working, keep working! Working is the key to happiness! It must be more than 20 years now since I was first made a slave. And you were just a young boy when you were brought here. It can't have been an easy childhood for you, eh? <laughs> you slaves are lucky, lucky people. What better way to spend your entire lives than working to build the exalted White King's Paradise? <sighs> Look out, Sassare. We can't loaf about here. Otherwise, we'll be in for another whipping. Or did you want to talk about yet another escape plan? We've already been stuck here for ten years already, after all. I still feel terrible about what happened to your father. I'm sure you took his last words to heart, and you want to set about finding your mother. I envy you. There's nothing left for me out there. My brother will have been made king by now. So, there's no use feeling sorry for myself. I better get back to work. So you just automatically assume that your dad was dead in ten years? It's just ten years! Please, please keep the noise down. This is my only chance for rest. What?! You want to help that geezer because he's moving rocks there all by himself?! <laughs> you got nerve. I'd shut up if I were you. Else you'll regret trying to tell us how to run the place. What do you think you're doing? Get back to work immediately. And don't even think for a second about trying to escape. Don't delay for that. It's too heavy. I can't move it. Right, let's go back downstairs then. Wait, hang on. Where's another staircase? Oh, okay. It's nighttime now. Right, that's enough for today. Off to your cells, everybody. It'll be an early day again, morning again tomorrow. Awake at last, are you, Sasei? You seem a bit agitated. You weren't having another bad dream about being whipped, were you? You bring it on yourself most of the time, you know. We slaves have to keep our heads down if we want an easy life. Who'd have ever thought I'd ever turn out to be the obedient one, eh? <laughs> Sasei examines the pot. Ugh! 
What a smell. Looks like it must be what the slaves used as their toilet. It was your father's death that made me change my tune and become more serious and submissive. I can't believe it's been ten years already. Time flies when you're having fun. Eh? And as Zane, I agree, that scene actually uh, hit me harder than uh, uh, really most other games. Ugh, don't wake me up. I need every minute of sleep I can get. Morning, Satsure. It's been ten years now since you were brought here as a kid and forced into slavery. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time of it, eh? Poor thing. Yikes! Sorry! I won't slap off anymore, I promise! Please, don't whip me again! Hmm. Ugh, this used to be a sacred place of worship before the Order of Zugzwang came along. I still have faith, though. Even after all that's happened to us, I know we'll all be saved. I believe it in my heart. Indeed, Wintry. Have you heard the gossip? Apparently, when the temple is finished, we're all going to be set free. I've never heard such rubbish. You have to keep a complete fool to complete that. It's just propaganda that they put about to make us work harder, that's all. But they said it's true. Honestly, there's no help in some people. Did they tell you gullible has been removed from the dictionary, too? You guys have dictionaries? I have to tell you something. See that girl over there, Maria? She was a follower of the Order, but then they made her into a slave. Something about her going against orders and trying to protect a child slave or such like. Her brother is a soldier for the order as well. Would you believe? I can't believe they'd treat her so harshly. I've uh, always found it a little bit difficult to get along with the order's philosophies. So it's actually quite good that I angered him and made, was made into a slave. Now I can see how so many people have been forced into working for the good of the order. I've also heard talk that the order Zugzwang is being controlled by some kind of terrifying power. The question is, who's going to stand up and confront it? I will. Talk to someone. Ah, it's you. You're the one the old man was killed by one of the people of this temple, eh? You know, you must never forget the pain you felt that day. The strong feelings of death that'll make the difference between life and death here. There we go. Get to work, or do you want to feel my whip again? You again? You've certainly got some nerve causing trouble all the time. Get out of my sight! This is terrible. They made my little sister Maria into a slave. I wish there was something I could do, but I can't possibly act against the great ruler. Or, oh dear! I really shouldn't have said that to, at all to one of the slaves. It's an old grave. There doesn't seem any new crosses here. So what can have become of the slaves that died just the other day? The jail door is locked shut. Damn it! Let me out of here! This cult tells nothing but lies! Me, mate. I don't think anybody says anything particularly different except maybe Henry. Yeah, that guy's just sleeping over there. She's doing whatever she does. I think the main difference will be Maria this time. Hmm. 
what a shock. One of the slave girls is being whipped. You stupid girl. How dare you make my shoes dirty? You need some sense beaten into you. Uh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Never! You only just became a slave, haven't you, girl? So maybe it's best I hammer it home to you that your new life's gonna be like. Uh, huh? That cretin! Hey, Cesare, where did you appear from all of a sudden? I don't think I can stand to watch this any longer. Yeah! Hey, you want a piece of the action too, do you? I'd be more than happy to oblige. Some slave drivers up here. Yeah, you take that. Hey, level up. Hey, went up to level 14. Maximum HP increased by 10. MP by 4. 2 strength, 3 agility, 1 resilience, 1 wisdom, 1 luck. I knew a new spell, evac. That's perfect for here. Teleport me out of the dungeon. Harry's level increases to 2. HP increases by 3. MP by 4. 1 strength, 1 agility, 0 resilience, 1 wisdom, 1 luck. Hey, he goes to level 3. HP by 3. MP by 4. One strength, one agility, one resilience, two wisdom, one luck, and he learns Dazzle. What's going on uh, here? What's all this fuss about? Uh, these two boys just came in and attacked me for no reason! And the girl? Uh, yes, she was making a fuss too, see? Very well. See that she's given medical treatment at once. S sorry uh, Yes, sir, right away! Throw these two boys in jail. Yes, sir. Let's go. This is bad news. Still, I suppose it's better than getting a whipping. <laughs> this was nothing much we can do. May as well just relax and enjoy the break, eh? Hmm. I wonder how long they plan on keeping us here. Hey, it sounds like someone's coming. What do you suppose that was all about? Let's go have a look. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue before. Oh, you're... Come this way. I can't thank you enough for helping my little sister, Maria. My name's Joshua. I've thought of this f of you before, but you seem different from the other slaves. Your eyes are alive somehow. And that's why I've chosen you to ask this favor. Of, uh, will you hear me out? You see, it's just a rumor, but... Well, there are whispers that all the slaves will uh, have to be killed when the temper temple is finished to keep what happened here a secret. I thought of that happening to my beloved Maria, and I'm begging you, please take her away from here. When you were brought here all those years ago, your money and belongings were dumped in that barrel. This place. This is where slaves are brought when they die, and barrels are used for floating their bodies away from here. I know it sounds like a horrible idea, but if you just float away in one of those barrels, you may just make it out alive. But you have to hurry. Get inside the barrel quick before someone finds us here. Oi! Take me with you, mate! Joshua undoes the chains around the barrel and, closing his eyes in prayer, that it makes it to safety, sets it free. Uh, no, there's nothing by the graves. In this, everything, uh... Everything, uh, twinkles on the ground if there's something hidden. Later in the game, there may be something hidden there, though.
Three pier pills stuck in a barrel. They're very sturdy barrels. What a relief to see you awake at last! You must have been exhausted, child. You've been sound asleep for five days now. I was starting to worry you'd never wake up. I still can't get over the shock of how you got here in a barrel of all things. Your companion has been telling me all about it. You escaped from the most awful sounding place. You poor child. This is Heaven's a Above Abbey. And we sisters here are all nuns of the Order of the Above. Please rest here until you feel well again. Oh yes, we found these clo those clothes amongst your belongings. The things you had were in such a state that we thought it would be best if you were spruced up a bit. Cesare, you're finally awake! And you've changed in everything. Oh yes, you did bring a few things with you. Let me... look at me though. I'm still every bit the slave. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Much more important is that Maria is going to take part in some kind of baptism ceremony so that she can live here from now on. You're probably not really in the mood having just woken up, but we should go along and watch. We will now call upon the goddess to bestow her blessing to our new friend Maria. We thank the goddess that you have found your way here to us at Heavens Above Abbey, dear friend Maria. And we call upon the mighty almighty one to grant your, her your blessing on this day. Confess. Abbas, Abbas Abaval pours ruby colored liquid slowly from the glass and hands it to Maria. With this symbolic drink we pray that the protection of the goddess now flows within and around you. Henceforth, you will dedicate yourself to your studies, such that the beauty of your blessed soul may never be sullied. This concludes our ceremony. Now let us all return to our duties. I've heard all about what happened to you, but poor thing. A slave for ten years! But now you're free at last. I'm sure there will never again come a time when you are forced to submit to the will of another. Your father is an angel in heaven now. And it is for you and you alone to decide what the future holds, where you'll go and what you'll do. But don't let this overwhelm you. The freedom of is the essence of life, and you must savor it. I had talked at the Order of Zugzwang a little while ago while I was staying out of town on my travels. It seems they want to create some kind of utopia where everyone can live in happiness and peace. I would be wonderful if this ideal world was possible, but the happiness of one's family and friends has to be one's first priority. If people could just ensure that much, then everyone would end up happy that way, too. I'm here because I ran away from my husband. He's a mean old ruffian, he, so he is. Hey, you run away from somewhere at all, did you? It's a small world. Good time to save. You wonder what would happen if you farted inside the barrel. Well, I'm pretty sure Harry and Maria would have been pretty pissed off. No interesting books. No interesting books. There's a book entitled The Maiden of Abbotville Abovitol Tower. Sasha takes it from the shelf and reads an expert. There was once a girl who climbed a tower where the goddess was said to live because she wanted to find out if the goddess really existed. The goddess put many obstacles in the young girl's path, but she courageously persevered until she reached the top of the power. tower. There, legend has it that the goddess rewarded her by bestowing on her a mysterious mirror 
with which the power the, to reflect the truth. This room is set aside for when we receive important lady guests. We had a young rich girl here until just the other day undergoing her domestic goddess training. She was such a beautiful and kind-hearted girl. I think we probably didn't learn mu more from her than she did from us. First we blessed her with her presence, and now we have your Maria. We're so lucky to have such delightful people around us. Oh, you're finally up and about again. It's such a relief to see you looking well. I really thank you properly for bringing me to safety like my brother asked. I'm so awful to imagine him and all those other poor slaves still stuck here in that wretched place. I feel truly blessed to be here and to be free. The goddess must have a hand in my good fortune. Um, my brother gave me this and I want you to have it, Cesare. Cesare receives 1,000 gold coins. I hope it'll come in useful. I have faith it occurs that you and Harry will be like a beacon to guide each our troubled world into the light. You're one of the fellows who was washed up here with that barrel with Maria, aren't you? The more I speak with that dear girl, the more I can, can't fail to be impressed by how sweet she is in her nature. It's almost as if she was born solely for the purpose of serving the goddess. I doubt that's all she was born to do. I'd like you to have the statue of the goddess as a good luck charm for your, your safety of your journey. Received a crude image. Places the crude image in the bag. That statue was carved with lovely love and prayers by the wee nuns here in Heavens Above Abbey. It doesn't have any special powers or anything like that, but I hope it will at least make a nice keepsake for your time here. I wish I could go out and play. Did you know there's a big town to the north of here? It's amazing. There's so much to do there. You know, this is amazing. I haven't got any mini mini medals yet. Sorry, I came out without saying anything just then, Cesare. I knew Marie all that time when we were slaves, and yet I never noticed until today how beautiful she is. I wonder if she's planning on staying here forever. It's not as if we can could even stay with her if we were inclined to. Oh well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do from here. Let me know when you're leaving, won't you? Are you ready to go now? It's about time you set off in search of your mother, I suppose. I don't really have anything where I'm supposed to go. Can I tag along with you? Brilliant! Now that's decided, let's get going. I'll go and tell everyone we're leaving. You wait here. So you're leaving us. I hear you're embarking on a journey in search of your mother. Perhaps you might be able to find some clues at the large town to the north of here. Take care, my child. Thank you so much for everything. I'm going to pray here every day for all those poor slaves still imprisoned at the temple. And I shall also be praying for that you manage to find your mother, Cesare. Please take care on your travels. I'll never forget you. You're a grown man now, Cesare. It's up to you to find your way through the journey in life. But you must never feel alone. Remember that the goddess is watching over you always. I'll be praying for her to guide you on your journey. Time for the off. Harry joins Sasser. Bronze knife and surfwear. Can you use this, Harry? Oops. No, you can't use the thorn whip. Can you use the leather dress, Harry? No? Alright. Handwoven cave? No? Alright. Can you use a scale shield? Oh, you can use that! Alright. I didn't think you'd actually be able to use that. Can you use a leather kilt? Oh, you can use that too. Excellent. What an iron helmet. Oh, you can use the iron helmet. Oh, I can't even equip that, apparently. Okay. And Harry cannot use the boomerang. All right.
This is the town of Fortuna, the land of the open glory. What do you got for weapons? So, fame, boomerang, chain school. Oh, Harry can equip the chain school. Chain whip and the edged boomerang. Slightly worse than my uh, chain whip, but it does do more. We're gonna worry about that after that. We're gonna check on the armor shop first. Want something to drink, my friend? What's that? You don't drink alcohol? Most people your age just love the stuff. I may be way off base here, but I'm guessing you come from a pretty down and out kind of background, huh? Am I right? If Bianca was 8, and it's 10 years later, that would make Sasori 6, or 16. This guy just tried to give a 16 year old alcohol. I guess in this world, that's okay. I gotta get dinner on the table before my old man and son get home. You look like travelers to me. Don't you miss having a b home to go back to in the evening? No, I guess you're too young to feel like that yet, huh? Welcome to the item shop. How how can I serve you? What would you like to buy? Alright, you got nothing to worry about. Worry about no, nothing to worry about there. Well, hi there! Know what I just learned? Apparently there's a spell called Peep that tells you all kinds of stuff about items and things. Really? AT&T ticket. Hey, a seat of resilience. I'll take it. I think I'll probably get the edge boomerang. Hi there! Oh, you're one of my husband's pals! What do you make of it then? He keeps talking about going on and on about this business in the big castle town up no in the northeast. But I've heard some pretty scary things about the place. I don't know if it's such a great idea. Why don't you take a stroll outside town for a while? You'll soon pass time till the evening. I'm telling you, the place sure looks different at night. We probably will have to come back in here at night, though. Time don't stop for no one, you know? It just keeps marching on. Fortuna was just a tiny little village when I was growing up. But ever since they made that bridge to the north, folk have been flocking in. It must have been ten years now since it was made, I guess. No books of any particular interest. Speaking of which, apparently sometime while being a slave, Sasori learned how to read. Don't appear to be anything down here, alright. Oh, that's better. <laughs> well, 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 well. I am Mystic Mirjula. Please, the Fortuna. Fortune teller of fortunes. <laughs> Usually I'm only telling fortunes at night, but for a handsome, long, lovely like you, I'll be doing it any time of day. <laughs> I like that effect. Yes! The big, big hand of evil is casting its whop of a shadow over the world. <laughs> Believe it if you will. Or don't if you will not. I'm telling only what I see. Well, thank you. I'll take your medicinal herb. It is mine now. Done for absing. Okay, cool. You want something, mister? I'm kind of busy right now. I'm playing hide and seek. We can talk later, okay? What? Mister? I'm not a mister yet, am I? I'm not that old, surely. Dude, what a lively place. Just looking at everyone running around makes me dizzy. Welcome! Welcome to the armor shop. How may I help you? Alright, this guy has chain mail, bronze armor, iron cuirass, iron armor, Iron Helmet, and Slime Guniform. This is the town prison. If you want to talk to the inmates, better do it through the bars. 
I still can't believe I've gotten found out. I've been cheating at the casino for years. I guess I peaked too soon. Nothing's gonna beat the days when I used to kidnap people and sell them to the highest bidder. Lovely. Oh, it's good he was caught, I guess. No passes without purses. Store customers only. I came here because I'd always dreamt of becoming a dancer. I'm gonna do it. I won't let anyone put me off. I'll be the smoothest swinger in town. Pretty sure that swinger has a different meaning. I'm Monty, the famous monster monitor. But I'm sure you've heard of me, haven't you? No. Huh? You haven't heard of me? Oh, well. Mm, there's a twinkle in your eyes that I like, mister, and a hard twinkle, kind twinkle, and a sharp one at that. I wouldn't mind betting that you could tame monsters and get them to join your party, you know? What? How would you, you go about that? Uh, well, let me explain. First, you need to get a hold of a wagon. Then you need to fight the monsters, but not with any malice in your heart. No, you need to feel the love. When the monsters feel your compassion, they'll ask if they can join your party. But they only respect adversaries who are stronger than them, which means you need to defeat them first. Well, did you follow all that? Good! I bet someone like you could befriend dozens of monsters. Of course, having a wagon will let you take a lot more of the monsters along with you, but even then, there are limits. And that's where I come in! I can look after your surplus if you like. Alright. Hi, I'm Monty's assistant, Carla. If you know, you know, if you like, you, you want to get monsters to do what you say, you gotta wait until they're, like, way wise. If you can get their wisdom up to, like, 20 or more, they should pretty much do what you tell them. Guess you better, like, leave them in your wagon or something until they wise up. Monster Munchies! A pot lid! Speaking of pot lid, do you have a shield? Yeah, you do. There are prostitutes in the Japan version. Yep, Wintrig Slime Guniform. Oh, this is the gold bank, okay. How do you stay in business if you, uh, don't charge any fees? The old curiosity shop, your one-stop shop, source of all things curio, served with a courtesy white smile. I came from Tuparchana because I heard of an amazing shop that sells the most unusual items, but it's closed during the day, apparently. Yes, this is what we have to come back to for at night, I think. Let's go out, fight some battles until nighttime, and then we will finish what we need to do here. This is a casino, I don't really care about the casino. Let's just get to nighttime so that we can do this. Hey, three scissors. Thank you for that, Harry. <laughs> Yay, look at that. We got 100 gold coin. We're not actually trying to grind here. We're just trying to get the uh, day, night to shift. Flatulent ferrets. Almost night time. There, now we can go through this. Okay. In for Turner now, everyone's welcome and everyone can enjoy the fun! <laughs> I won big today! Gambling's all about knowing when to quit, I guess. You travelers, partners, then you'll be needing yourselves a wagon so you can take more folk around with you. I want to say 3,000 gold for a wagon like this, so I can't just give, resist giving you a discount. So how's about 300, Sam? Alright. Yeehaw! You, that's like a 90% discount, buddy. You got yourselves a deal. I'll put your wagon outside and you have yourselves a mighty fine trip, partner. 
Oh, just before you swaddle up and move out, you might want to stop in on old Monty. The monster monitor. He's a regular crackerjack when it comes to using wagons. He's the expert if you're looking for advice. Alright, let's go see what Monty has to say. Then we're gonna go travel south uh, back to the uh, abbey. Oh, I don't actually have any monsters. Alright. Oh, you can rename monsters. Maybe you can actually give them names. Cool. Alright. Let's go out of town. Let's just go in the inn for a sec here. I'm gonna search it for treasure. My wife's taking a bath at the moment. She deserves it after a hard day at work. Ah! You surprised me! You should be careful sneaking up up with people like that. But I finished my bath already and I'm dressed again now, so no harm done. TNT ticket. According to what I've heard, there's a king somewhere who collects those mini metals that crop up all over the place. Apparently so delighted if you take them to him, he'll give you little prizes and things. I've already got 20th of the little bladders myself. Who knows what I'll get? <laughs> Alright. Before we're done today, we're going to try and catch a monster. Some slimes appear! I'm not actually trying to level, I'm trying to catch a monster. Brownies. <gasps> What's this? The brownie gets up and looks over as if it wants to join the party. Allowed the brownie to join the party? Yeah. Now we got a brownie. His name is Wacka. Harry's level increases to 4 HP by 3, MP by 3, 1 strength, 1 agility, 1 resilience, 1 luck, wisdom, 1 luck, and 45 gold coins. Wacka did not level up. Alright, so we've caught a monster. I'm uh, gonna save the game here now. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do another fight just in case. Uh, we'll do one more. But uh, I'm gonna try and catch any monsters that I get. Uh, jail cats. Oh, Jailcat wants to join the party, all right? The Jailcat's name is Jayla. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna sleep. I assume we can sleep here. the Order of Zugzwang, and Joshua decided to become one of their soldiers. I was lucky enough to be able to study under Bishop Laja, and we were so grateful for the opportunity to pull ourselves out of the mire. 
but I never can never come to terms with the idea of sacrificing so many people just to build a grand temple. I'm so worried about what's become of Joshua, but there's nothing I can do apart from sit here and pray for him each day. One of these nuns lets me sleep. This is the visitor's lodge. It's rather camp, but would you like to rest for a while? Alright, so. I'm gonna be trying to catch a slime uh, while I level up to tomorrow, or tonight. So if I log back in and I have a slime, that's why. Either way, join me tomorrow for uh, none of the above, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, join me tomorrow for more Dragon Quest V. Have a good one, everyone. We will see you later.